And um, you know, Kaneohe Bay is very significant. It's, it's Kanehunamoku's home and it's Makani Olu's home. And so as we look here at the ocean and, and in this, this huge resource that we have, if you can only imagine what this place looked like in the Wakahiko, yeah, in the time of Kane and Kanaloa and Hina and, and how rich this Aina was then. And the fish ponds and um, these reefs were probably just filled with so much life. And, and so part of looking at this landscape is seeing how changes are made over time and looking at the changes that have been made um, in, in our recent time. If you look at Hey, a fish pond over here. When we used to first start hiking up here with Halakumana students, like, I don't know, 15 years ago, that whole wall was covered in mangrove. Like, you couldn't even see the wall. And today, you can see it clearly. And not only can you see the wall, but you can see the hale kia'i that have been constructed there. So, if you look at what's been going on in the recent history, in your guys' time, and, and even in mine, is, is things are starting to kind of go back, yeah? In, in certain ways, to the, to the old style, to reviving our culture and our places. And it's really, really important that we can start to connect back to nature as practitioners, yeah?